Weighing in officially at 134 and one half pounds. As a professional, he maintains an undefeated record consisting of 24 victories. All 24 victories coming by way of knockout. The former WBA Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, De Bolero Alto, Venezuela, Edwin Valero. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He sets him wearing blue, trimmed in gold and red. Weighing in officially at 135 pounds. As a professional, he maintains an impressive record consisting of 46 victories with only three losses and 40 of those victories coming by way of knockout. De Monteria, Colombia. And fighting out of La Ciudad de Mexico, DF. Antonio Pita. Antonio, Edwin, Edwin, it's a uh, poco alto, okay, so this is a battle, right, eh? play Olympia, y bueno suerte. So we are set to go with this 12 round WBC lightweight championship fight. Round one. Let the fireworks begin, Mary. It's going to be that. A lot of tension. A lot of tension right now. Valero with trucks, the color of the Venezuelan flag. I mean, both of these guys are giving each other stares. If they can throw punches, boy, trust me. Both of them be knocked down right now. But, you know, this is going to heat up real quick. The fans are in for a big, big treat tonight. Valero likes to go to the body with a straight left. He has to be careful and tuck his chin as he does so. I'll notice that, uh, Doug, he chin straight up in the air. He's still, you know, he's there to get But he, but he lands with a lot of power with that left to the body. He likes to follow it with a right hook. Three punch combination, now four punches, unanswered by Pitalua. A lot of those punches Barry did miss, but it looked good. Oh, there was a jab to the midsection from Valero. That I haven't seen from him. I like that we're actually seeing jabs from Valero because in a lot of his previous contests, he just rushed out looking with uh, loading up right hooks and, and, and left crosses. I'll tell you, Pitalua is allowing Valero to get into punching range. You know what, Barry? Maybe he wants him to get uh, a little uh, over aggressive because Valero's chin is up in the air. It's not tucked. Exactly. You know, Doug, you know in the smaller weight divisions, they fight with eight ounces. Right. And eight ounce gloves, for those who don't know out there, eight ounce gloves is really a painful punch, painful gloves to get hit with. I mean, these guys are, are quick, they fast, the big little man, I call them. Valero is, is fighting from a distance and fighting effectively. He landed a nice straight left a moment ago. And so far, he's not allowed Pitalua to get off at all. And Anton, they, un, they both understand that they cannot make a mistake here. It seems you get the feeling that they, they don't want to waste any any ammunition. Yeah, well, they're like anyone else. They can look at the record <laughs> and see, see how many knockout each other has, you know. And I'm sure it's not often in their career that they fight someone who has a, a high knockout percentage like they have. Pitalua has not been real active here in this first round. Misses a right hand there. He's got a poker face, though. He has the same facial expression even when he gets tagged. Occasionally, he'll shake his hand, his head to Valero, saying, "Nah, that ain't nothing." Valero's there to react to anything, or at least it looks like anything that Antonio try to do. He's, he's 
radar. He got that. He got hit with a big right hand. He just got hit with the right hand. That's right. Sure did. Well, I'm saying exactly what you guys were pointing out. Be careful of that chin. Well, Doug pointed out earlier, and he's right. I mean, his chin, uh, Edwin Chin is straight up in the air. And, uh, let's see if he, he listens to his corner. And right hand, short right hand, knocks picked a little right on his right back, on and he's in trouble. Both legs are he's stiff. in big trouble. This fight may not go much further. He's got so much heart and so much pride. Look at him. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. It will not take much. He's about to go again. Valero just did try to finish him off, and down he goes. And he bounces up maybe a little too soon. And his legs are still shot. He's talking to Lawrence Cole, saying, hey, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. I don't think he is. A long way to go in this round. Pitaloo in retreat. About seven unanswered punches, and that's it. It's over. Just like that.